Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam! You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no! How can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, 
Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. Catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I 
can't take any more of this. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem, which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages! Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> <laughs> Salmon! Ah, yes! Wait till you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel! Oops, sorry! But it's really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this dental in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are here! 
Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, huh? mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. Uh, uh. Ah! Honey? You won't believe what just happened. Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Tell me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf! 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 Woof! 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 Arf! Ahem. <clears throat> arf! 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 Woof! 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 Huh? Arf! Oh! Sam! Sam! Look out for those! You! ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> but I'm really stuck! <clears throat> there, saved. Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys. Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait! No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was... <laughs> Wrong. Wrong? But how can it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah! Watch it! Ah! Help! Help! Huh? 
Ha, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie. Ah, Washington, help. Eugenie, Susie, they're falling. Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Oh man, I gotta help them! Chuck's always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Wash? <laughs> Watch, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot, weird dog! dog. is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey. But couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That's weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart-pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip.
That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh... What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so honest, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! No! Uh, no, I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. <laughs> well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. College. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? <laughs> of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, by even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. <laughs> hey! This is an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far, lots of cows. We'll probably never see you again. What? Washington! Wash, if only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah, something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. <laughs> this is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Hmm. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left, right and left, right and left. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes, <gasps> I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> Just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Mm -hmm. uh, hi! <laughs> huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Al. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is <laughs> wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor. What's wrong with him? Ah, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. <gasps> the vet says it's all my fault. 
I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! It's getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stone's hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Wash is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <gasps> don't care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Yeah, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Ah, 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 ah. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Yay! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! I got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Listen to me. <laughs> Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Sam, please, stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, AKA our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you gonna keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. Uh, 
What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near? Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch. What a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch. We're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys could move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You could bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No! <laughs> it's not for you right now. <sighs> it's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, show time. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacques. Okay. <laughs> Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> no, honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance. I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Ha-ha! Mm. <laughs> my nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, 
best magic trick ever. <laughs> Jumbos! 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 We're coming! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. <laughs> Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I gonna do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> No point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appetit, little ones. <laughs> oh, what's the big deal about these things anyway? <laughs> uh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! Ah, what is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Oh. Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <laughs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for hours! <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Here, lean on me. 
No! Everyone leave me alone! Oh no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old! I'm gonna show you! Watch out, girls! Watch and learn! was a cub, our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa, we... Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You've told us this story. Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, no? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get those decorative teaspoons. You kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Of course. Only respectable thing. And go! <laughs> ah! 
Want to go to the woods? Having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Wild they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We've got to do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> awesome! <laughs> my tail! My beautiful fat tail! Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. Yeah! <laughs> Never mind. Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam, Washington, uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. It's a tail! Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh, Amazing. Uh, it's like a castle in here. What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! <laughs> hey, Victoria. Have you, by any chance, seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam. Fluffy, no! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No! Oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. Because the sun is shining and it's a brand old day. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Uh -huh. Okay, step one of Operation Tail, infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes, this is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really like that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. Sam! <laughs> A giant talking sock! Ah! <laughs> Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Roll! Figure us out. You're allowed to in this couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm. Hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're going to help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll, uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh. Wow! Amazing! Okay, let's go! You sure? Don't worry. Ha-ha, <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, they need me. Well, I think it's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. <laughs> We did it, Washington, we did it! I can't believe it! Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello, mm -hmm. I helped too, you're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Mm. 
Hey, what's up? Sounds like a party going down. Yo, Yo Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba! <laughs> Samantha! Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no. Fang. Uh, one and only kid. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's oh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Like a wild animal! Which is exactly what we mustn't do! We've gotta act like well behaved household pets! Which means. Well, for starters, we could cheer! Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them! Come on, break it up, guys! I'm gonna come back for you, Vic! We're made for each other! You're the pussycat of my. Yeah. Dreams? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget. Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. 
How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know, your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> Not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too! I could drink buckets! Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it gonna be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, thing, I hate to break it to you, but... <laughs> Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. Yo, oh, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Dick, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You pretty much get it. Mm -hmm. Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me, Samantha. Before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one you're supposed to be crazy about! What in the world is going on here? It's a game! Join in! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Look at me! I'm so pretty! What's wrong? Can't you see? Run after me! Me! Hey, Fang! Leave Sam alone! I knew it would come down to this. Ha! Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha? You wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of black compared to Samantha. You, Fang, check out your sweetie Samantha now. Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. Great. Now you're back to worshipping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. 
This is what you've always wanted! Me! Fang! Wait up! Remember my pretty face? Fang! Wanna explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. <laughs> that reminds me! I'll be right back! Gotta go real bad! Like I was saying. Uh, just a sec! <laughs> Samantha? Uh, I mean, Sam? I think this is gonna take a little while. Uh, time to be! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Ah, is this the life or what? Seriously, can you imagine if we were still in the wild? <laughs> Sleeping out in the cold, scavenging for food. Hey, where's Vic? She usually rains on our parade about now. Don't you see, Bobby? Your favorite food is eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. We can never be together. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> Guys, Fix getting all worked up over a stupid soap opera. <sighs> well, I've got better things to do. I think I'll go chase a flying saucer. Let's go, Wash! <laughs> Oh, Washington, you are wearing me out, buddy. Arf, 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 arf. All right, one more. Flying saucer, flying saucer, flying saucer! <laughs> oh, that's our cue. Inside, everyone. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> Oh no, my suit! I've got to get it back before someone sees me naked! Psst. Hey you, Fox! Yeah. Quick! I need your help. Oh, darling, before I met you, I was nothing more than an ordinary brain surgeon with an evil twin brother that stole my family's fortune. But now, I'm a man in love. Looking at me like that. Huh? I said, why are you looking at oh. me like that? Never mind. Just help me hide. Hide? From what? <gasps> I could have sworn I saw that pesky fox dart this way. Don't worry, they won't have a clue we're back here. Beautiful ficus! Wow, yeah, but we better roll. What did you do to make those guys chase after you? Nothing. I just dug around in some trash cans and the humans got all mad. Oh, domesticated people are the worst. Well, actually, worse than a domesticated person is a domesticated animal. They are the absolute worst. Uh, you don't say. Yeah, they just lay around all soft and flabby, letting humans boss them around. Disgusting, right? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> My name's Meadow, by the way. Thanks for saving me. Anytime. I'm Washington. Well, Washington, I guess this means you're my hero, huh? Uh, uh, Honey, oh. have you seen the dog? I'll go check outside. Uh oh, <laughs> humans. That's my cue. Wait. Will I ever see you again? Maybe here, tomorrow, for dinner? It's a date. <sighs> I hope this feeling never goes away. 
Hey, you better scram too before that human and a stupid dog get here. Oh, I hate dogs. Gross. <laughs> yep. That feeling went away. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. What is wrong with you, flower? Loves not, loves not, loves not, loves not. Ah! Seems like you're pretty anxious about this girl, huh, pal? How can you tell? Just a feeling. It's hopeless. I can't keep up this charade. Once Meadow figures out I'm domesticated, she'll hate me. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Can I say something here? I know, I know. You love that this is blowing up in my face. No, I was gonna say, don't give up. I mean, come on. You can't keep up this charade. Give me a break. You're the king of charades. Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, look, I don't like it either, but I need something to make me believe in love again, okay? Okay. Oh. Actually, you know, you're right. I'm me. Let's do this! Yeah. I think I see her. Hurry! How's the makeup coming, Susie? Yeah, he needs to look like he's been out fighting in the wild. Yep, just one more touch. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> ah! Actually, that looks incredible. I know. Okay, to your positions, everyone. Hello there. Wow. Hi. What happened to your face? Eh, got in a fight with another wild animal. I think it was a bear. Oh, I wonder how that bear got ketchup all over his paws. Well, I'm starving. I think I'll go use my wild animal foraging instincts and rustle up some grub. Be right back. Take it. Go, go, go! Dinner is served. Where did you get all that? No big deal. Just found some berry bushes and a couple nut... trees. Oh, I love nuts and berries. Me too. I eat them in front of the TV all the time. Oh. TV? What are you talking about? And what are these? Uh, uh, candy almonds? From a candy almond tree? Uh, well, I... Uh... Huh. Love hangs in the balance. We need to go right to the finale. You are acting very weird. Me? No, I'm not. How am I acting? Flying saucer! Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <laughs> Yee-hee! What is going on? Look, the truth is, I'm... I... A wolf? No, I'm... Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, right! A wolf! Don't be afraid. I'll defend you with my wild beast defense skills. seen a wolf this deep in the city before. Oh, no! Shh. Glad we spotted him before he did any harm. I've got to stop them! Are you crazy? Don't go after those psychos to save a wolf. If they see a wild fox, they'll throw you in the van, too. You're right. But if I was a domesticated animal... What is that? I'm very sorry. I've been lying to you. I don't have an evil twin brother. I am the evil twin brother. Huh? No! Your mustache was the thing I loved most! Meadow, the truth is, while I'm a fox, I'm not a wild fox anymore. In fact, lately I've been living life as... a domesticated dog. What is that? I know you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. It 
It doesn't matter. Wherever we end up, love doesn't exist. What was that? Oh, look, an adorable dog! Ah, Where did you come from, little wolf, guy? Wolf, check his collar for an address. Yes, it's Washington. He's distracting them for us. Quick, Susie, grab the keys. Grab them. Oh, he wants to shake hands. No, those get it. Ha-ha! <laughs> animals were soft, but after I saw what you did for your friends, I realized I was wrong. So maybe, if it's okay with you, we could have dinner again sometime. Yeah? I mean, uh, sure. That'd be cool. Okay, great. It's a date. Maybe you could pick some more food from that candy almond tree. <laughs> 